take any opportunity you can to work overseas. You've given yourself a skill set where you can really succeed in agriculture for research for development. This has been just an incredible opportunity to grow as a person. Hi, I'm Zoe Jones. My name's Annalise. I'm Kurt, and I now work in International Agricultural Research for Development. I started studying finance in Newcastle, Australia, before completing my degree in Leeds, England. I've always had a love of the environment. Uh, however, when I first came to uni as part of my environmental science undergrad degree, I really didn't know uh, what it was that I wanted to do. I began my career working in communications at the UN Food and Agriculture Organisation back in 2011. I was fortunate enough as an undergraduate to be given the opportunity to conduct a small research project um, on women's engagement in beekeeping in Papua New Guinea and that really has started for me a journey which has included my honours and now uh, my PhD research. I started in development as an Australian Youth Ambassador for Development through AusAid. This was a great program for young professionals to get a foot in the door of development and I've never looked back. Farming is ultimately a business, so studying finance or business gives you an incredible platform for which to understand agriculture. My current day-to-day -day work is about coordinating the communications of FAO's 40 plus countries in Africa, as well as managing the communications of our regional office and our regional leadership. My PhD research is really focused around identifying strategies to engage women in beekeeping for development projects, not just in Papua New Guinea and Fiji, um, but all around the world, and really looking at an evidence-based approach uh, to support women to achieve their beekeeping goals and aspirations, and to also have the agency um, and supportive relations within the beekeeping sector, um, which they require to be successful. One of my best memories, I think, in this job was when I was working for the World Food Programme in a communications role and it was shortly after the Nepal earthquake about six years ago. Witnessing up close the work that our organisation was doing was really memorable and powerful. And the photos that I took from that time and the short video helped to uh, you know, reach a broad audience through social media channels to show what was happening. I can't really imagine now doing anything outside of agricultural research for development. I love working with farmers. They are the lifeblood of rural communities. I also really love travelling, so agricultural research for development is a dream job for me.